ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out the new device and that device is the DPHI Link Advance. It's a very, very cool device uh, which uh, works as a master to uh, look after your ASI network which is looking after all the slaves that are connected within the network and it provides you a, a, a broad uh, a diagnostics uh, unit where you can diagnose uh, any problems that are uh, happening within your network and you sort of uh, more or less can pinpoint you where the problems are. It's a really good device to use if you're having a uh, load of uh, field units uh, within the ASI network and uh, this guy in there will be able to help you out monitoring them and not just monitoring from the main screen down there, it always is, it as well has a web interface uh, built in so where you can connect uh, within a local network to the controller just by using a, a browser uh, within a normal internet browser within just using the IP address and you can connect to it and have a look at what's going on and pretty much monitor it and things like that. So that's what we're doing today, the wiring, the setup and uh, sort of checking out and I'll see if we can create some faults and things like that. So I'll give you a good idea sort of understanding what it really does. So all the related videos and manuals can be in the description below. And guys, don't forget to check out the Patreon program that I have designed in case you need more uh, uh, support than just videos. Do check out the Patreon program where you can uh, choose a uh, support you probably would need in the future from me. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's get going. <music> Righty, here we are. Do apologize, the screen's not visible. I will dim the light down in a minute once we uh, go through the, all the configurations in here. So the first thing we're going to look at, as you can see, has got the Profibus connection here. This is the Profibus uh, unit. You can get an uh, Ethernet one as well, even though if you, if you see down there, you've got the Internet for LAN. It says Ethernet for LAN only. That one there is not for communications. That one down there is uh, for, uh, as it says, for the LAN, so where you are able to connect and not uh, connect, I mean, the, uh, well, yeah, connect from your uh, laptop using a web browser, which you're going to check out in the uh, uh, next video to uh, monitor and uh, uh, set this unit up as well with it from your computer. So that's what this is uh, used for. That's not for communicating with the PLCs, it's for uh, for the web only. So uh, from the near bottom, this unit does require its own 24 volt DC supply. This is where, you, where your DC supply will go and everything as well. And then you have a first line of ASI connections in there, which we already checked out in previous videos. It pretty much works the same as uh, ASI Master from 1200 series. So this guy in here, uh, this is the power supply in here. And basically the power supply will come in, power up the uh, ASI network, and then it continues on to uh, all the units on and on and on from there on. So you can see I have SF light and BF light on, uh, those are your diagnostics lights in there. So that's pretty much uh, SF light with your system's fault and your BF is going to be your bus fault. So both of them are on because uh, I've got no uh, profit bus cable uh, connected to it. So we see both of them as an issue. As you can see my SI network, which is the SI network lights down here. Those are uh, more or less your ASI line. Uh, faults down there where the SF in that case will be systems fault within ASI and an APF is an ASI power failure and then it's going to be a, you know, a configuration error, auto program, config mode and obviously the on where it's going to be just well on. And that's pretty much the uh, what what the front looks like. You obviously you have a SK button and OK button so uh, in there we're going to check the menu anyway so at the moment you can't really see much but right in the bottom is thing called C plug, not on the bottom, on top right here you can't see it. See, it's, 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 a, it's a C plug on there. It's a specialized memory uh, memory uh, chip you can put in there, and that uh, memory chip will allow you to transfer all the configurations and all the ASI network setups and things like into that memory. In case this guy goes down, you can just unplug it, plug it into the next guy, and just put it onto it, and you are good to go. So this is really, really good if you want to back it up, back up your system. Really, I've never really seen anybody using that uh, C plug, but there's an option if you do want to have it. So I just put, put, put the uh, profit bus cable back in, as you can see my errors disappeared. And we're gonna go through the LCD display. So as soon as you click OK, you have a systems, uh, IND, 
basically the internet settings and the profit bus and then SI. So let's first check out the system theory. This is in the configurations. There's not much in here. It's just the basic uh, basic stuff, language timeouts and, uh, and, and, and in general. I'll leave it that and you can reset in here and then so on. So uh, so let's quickly go go and go in for configurations. So yeah, we already just been there. Oh, it goes out, I didn't know that. And then you can reset and then you can uh, have a look at the errors. If there's any errors, then it's, uh, it really comes down to C plug, which I already just spoke. You can uh, transfer a diagnostics of the buffer. Uh, fault states, no faults and things like that. So you check in there. So, so that's system. And then is your internet. It's sort of an uh, info. You can see what's uh, about, all about info. Uh, information about your internet so and then is the IP settings you can find out in here I do believe this guy sets these 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 IP addresses up uh, automatically but you can change them in the software we're going to show in the next uh, uh, in the next uh, video so uh, e, e itself when I connected it uh, picked up my subnet and uh, picked up my uh, default gateway and obviously assigned unused IP address to it straight away himself. So uh, so I do believe he does that himself. So uh, and from there on, then you can check out your Mac as well. You can't change, you cannot change your IP in here, even though if you click on OK, there's uh, there's some settings in here which I've never really used. So uh, I will leave you for guys to check that out. So from there on. That's pretty much the internet. There's not much really you're doing there. That's mainly for your communications with your uh, computers. Then you know, there's a profi bus. Then there's an info. It tells you uh, how the things are going, the the ID number and board rates and things like that. So uh, and then there's the uh, DP configuration, DP parameters, and that's pretty much that's all there is. Then there's a uh, DP address. So this is where you would set up your uh, unit's uh, profi bus address. Mine one is a three. So uh, we already spoke about that in the previous videos, uh, how to set this guy up in uh, in a TI portal. We already checked that one out, so do check out previous videos, guys. So my address is three, but if you want to change it, you can change it if you want. We're not going to do that. And then is uh, DP Global Controls. Never really use these, so I'm not going to get into these, so I'm not really sure what these are. So uh, and then you can check out your errors. The main one you would always use is ASI. So ASI is where you can really can start monitoring the whole th uh, the whole system. First, what we're going to look at that and is where you're going to spend the most of the time fault finding is your a uh, list of uh, ASI uh, units connected to it. So by clicking on it, as you can see, my zero doesn't do anything, but my first, uh, second, and third are used you can see like a little zeros on it and that's all there's this unit this unit and i have a uh which we, we already checked out all of them before and this unit they're all three are connected to my network and it says all of them are activated and they are healthy so pretty much that's what it, it we're going to be monitoring in this window we're going to get to some uh, errors in a minute so in there there's your error list you can have a look at the error list uh, what was happening before uh you should be able to clear that. Press or clear, click OK to reset all account. Yes, please. Thank you. Here we go. So, and that should remove. There we go. There we go. Interesting. He activates all three of them when I remove one of them. So, yeah, but yeah, this is where you have a look at the error list. So, and uh, statistics, I'll leave this to you guys, there's statistics, to, to do read up the manual, I don't really want to drag this video on, it's just generally to give you an idea what this unit do, do, does. So, other than slave info, change address, you can't really change address on there because you will start causing trouble, so I'm not sure what this is for. So, uh, change an ID, and yeah, so uh, that's pretty much, do check them out. So the main one, you're going to be uh, more or less spending your time in ASI life list and error list. So once we are in this window, and let's say there is a problem. So let's say we remove this guy in here. We remove it, and as you can see, it straight away comes, comes up with an X and it says it's missing. So the and it shows you exactly rather than trying to guess because if you would have just uh, just right in here this guy in here as you can have an ASI master in here it would not tell you 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 would, you would literally have to connect up and find out uh, which one is missing where the problems are so in here 
sure is it? Here we go. The third one is missing and uh, uh, that's the one you need to go after. And that's why it's a good idea to put numbers onto every single ASI field unit you put it onto. So make sure that it's easier to uh, find them. Once you did that, once you did that, E fixes itself, but, uh, all the errors disappears and the system goes back to normal. And if you go, as just show you here, as you go on the error list, it shows all three of them are down. I'm not sure under what. It's got seven error, five error, and there's actually 20,000, wow, whatever the error. And I already showed you to reset them. So I could just click OK and then just click OK and it will remove it. But yeah, that's your error list in here. And let's say, let's just go in here. We will take our addressing unit. And somebody just messed up the addresses and things like that. Let's plug on to addressing. So let's go on there. We're going to change that one because of my addressing unit, which you already checked out in previous videos. We're going to change that address to four. There we go. So are we going to change that address to four? And as you can see, in a minute, as you can see, it says uh, first one is missing. Yeah, and then it says hello, the fourth one. I don't know what that is. I'm not being programmed to understand that address. It says this hasn't been set up in the TI portal. It hasn't been set up in, in, a, in a network. It says it's not supposed to be there. So, uh, and I think as well, we're going to show you when you leave. Uh, we can't see it, don't we? No, we have to wait to leave to leave Black Cell. So, yeah, so, um, oh, here we go. Here we go. It says uh, missing one extra four. So, that will be tell you straight away there's something extra that's not supposed to be there. If you see that, and as you can see, there, I don't have bus uh, bus issues. I have system issues. So uh, then it tells you, and then if you narrow it down, as you can see, that on there it shows the SF. It says somewhere there's a system issue within ASI network. So it sort of is giving you a good idea how to understand the errors. So let's uh, fix that back up. So uh, there you go. So uh, let's change that back down to one, which which it was. And it should know, there we go, it already knows that. So, and once you remove it, boom, everything returns back to normal. Just to give you some couple ideas of how to find your ASI network, which if you're working within the control systems and uh, you have a large machines that use Siemens, it is very much likely you're gonna be using this unit. So, and that will do, ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, unit. Hopefully this is helping you out, give you to understand what this specific uh, unit does. In the next video, we're going to check out uh, the web interface, which is really, really cool uh, for you to uh, connect to your uh, local network, which you already, as you can see down there, I've added the cable already. So we're going to check that out in the next video. So don't forget to check out all the other videos in the playlist for this 200 series of VLC, so it gives you a better understanding of what we've been doing in here before. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.